Hello and welcome to the tutorial on how to edit content on the Law Advocates website. The first thing you're going to want to do, if you haven't already, is you're going to want to log in. And the easiest way to do that is to scroll to the very bottom of the home page. And in the lower right hand corner, there will be some text that says admin login and you'll click on that. And then it'll take a minute to load, but in a second, it'll pull up a page to insert, there it is, your username and your password. And mine automatically showed up because I've checked this box here that says remember me. So if you're on a computer that you'll be using consistently, then you can check that box and next time this will automatically load for you. Um, or for now, just input your username and password and when you're done with that, click login. And once it loads here, we will um, we are in the back end of the site. And this is where you'll do all the editing. And this upper bar here is what we'll be using for this video. Um, this sidebar here is called the dashboard and that will come in handy in the future. So to go back to the site so we can edit, hover over your site name and click visit site. Okay, and here we are on the home page now, and that black bar, you'll notice, is still here, so you know you're logged in. Um, and we're going to start by going to the resources page, and I'll show you how to edit that. Okay, and then to edit, go ahead and click here where it says edit page. Depending what it is you're editing, it could say edit post or edit event also. All right, and to edit this page, you can go ahead and change the text. If you are copying and pasting from a different source, it's handy to use the paste as text tool or the clear, for clear formatting tool. So for example, if this was bold or a different font, I'll want to highlight it and clear the formatting because any formatting copied over can affect the layout of your page. Um, and also, if these tools, for whatever reason, aren't showing up, um, well, not for whatever reason, it's because the toolbar toggle isn't selected. So if I unselect that, you'll see you only have this upper bar of options. And if you click the toolbar toggle, you'll have this lower bar of options. Um, something else you might want to use for editing the text is this drop-down menu over here. So say, for example, I pasted in this lower section of text, and so this is only paragraph, and I want to match the heading here. I notice that this heading is heading 2, so I can select that text and change it to heading 2. Um, and these headings here, they do go from larger to smaller, like this heading 5 would be smaller. Here, I'll preview that so you can see. So yeah, now we do still have two headings um, of different sizes. I'm going to bring that back to heading two. I'm also going to show you um, another tool you might not recognize here is the block quote. And depending on your theme, it's going to look differently. For this theme, I will show you what it looks like. Sometimes it adds quotes around, but for this theme, it adds a box around the text. It will show up in just a minute. So that's another option you can use here to um, separate the title out from the rest of the paragraph. So that's another good tool to use when you're editing text. Um, hyperlink is here. And something I want to show you about the hyperlinks that's really handy is, let's say I just made this into a link. And then I want, oops, and then I'll want to edit it, go to link options and open link and new tab. Um, I'm glad I looked because this wasn't selected. So that way, when someone is looking at your page, like if they were looking at this page and they want to go to this link, then it doesn't take them off of your page. Now it's gonna take them off your page and they will have a harder time navigating back to your page. Um, so now, 
that I've changed that and I've checked that box. I'll wait till it loads. There we go. Now that I've checked that box, when I click on this link, it opens up a new tab, which is really handy. All right. Um, what else for editing text? You've got indents, you've got undo. I think that's about it. So this is editing text in classic mode. Next, I will show you how to edit text in the back end editor, um, which to change from one mode to the other, I would click back end editor or classic mode. So I'm going to go to a page that we made in back end editor. So I'm going to go back to the main site, need this. So I'm going to go to about board of directors. I'm going to close these so I don't get confused. Okay, and now we are at the board of directors page. There it is. I'm going to edit this page. And then you'll see it automatically goes to a different editing style or editing mode. Here we are. Okay, so you'll see this looks a lot different than the classic mode. Um, so if I went back to the classic mode here, you'll see classic mode is great. It's very straightforward. If you're only having text or maybe a photo, that's what it's great for. The backend editor, it's great for columns, having multiple photos, and I'll show you more about that when we... Um, when I do the tutorial on how to add a page or a post. But as far as editing this content, you'll always want to find the pencil. Um, so if I'm editing this text block, I'll want to use this pencil here. Um, it's a little confusing because you've got multiple pencils. This pencil will edit this block and this pencil will also edit the block. Um, but like here, this pencil only edits this column and this pencil edits both columns. So when you're editing the text, you'll want to find the green pencil specifically. I'm gonna go ahead and click on that. Here we are. And so now I can edit this text and then you have, you'll see you have all the tools that you had in classic mode, which is great. Um, you can add media in here if you want to, but I, also, off, but I often find for layout, for layout reasons, excuse me, that it's easier to um, do columns in the backend editor. So I would likely add an image over here. So image, there's our single image. And then I'll want it to be a full image, full size. Um, and even saying full, it's more the um, the resolution of the photo than it is the actual size when you're using backend editor like this, because um, it'll still size itself to fit into this column here. I'll show you. All right, and then you can add a caption if you want to, um, which would be right here. Here, test caption, so I can show you how to do that. Um, but again, I'll get a little more into this in the next video. This is more just for editing purposes. Save those changes, so now I have an image there. Um, but the ratio, what's great for using this backend editor is the ratio will it'll automatically do that for you so let me preview those changes okay and there it is there's our test caption there's the ratio oops there we go 
And then if I wanted to edit this text here, like I showed you, you can just click on this edit button. Um, if I want to duplicate, duplicate anything, say if I wanted to duplicate this here, I can use this tool and it adds another one right below, which is great. I can drag this over here, which is great. Um, I can also add on to the bottom here. So let's say I wanted to add, oh, I don't know. Uh, let's say I wanted to add a separator. I can add a separator line in there. The only thing um, is if you're wanting, so like here you're going from one column to two columns. If for some reason I wanted to edit and add three columns, I couldn't just add on the bottom here. Um, I would need to add a whole new block. There's our, there's automatic text. So yeah, let's say I want to do three columns now. Um, so then I have to do a whole new section, block section thing here. And I can duplicate. So that's a really nice tool to have, especially if you have a certain layout and I can duplicate that layout. Um, yeah, so those are the tools that are used most often in the back end editor. And you can always preview the changes, which is great before you update anything. Take a look at those changes that I made. There's our divider. There's our three columns, two columns, image, all that stuff. All right, and that concludes the tutorial for how to edit content.